Hello, everyone. I am Dream, or better yet, Queen. I am an inpatient, demented variety streamer. If you enjoy what you see, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. I will be posting full playthroughs of my solo games as I stream them, in addition to how-to tutorials and shorts. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy! Hello everyone! So this is going to be a short little video just to go through the Dracthu's skills, or talents, as they wish to call them. So basically, this is not a build video, I'm not trying to show you what build you should run, this is just to go through all of the perks. So we're going to start on the left side, the evoker points, or evoker skill line. So the first one is land side. This conjures a path of shifting stone full towards the target location, rooting enemies for 30 seconds. Damage may cancel the effect. Okay, so this is 1.5 minute cooldown, 10 to 40 yard range, and it costs 1400 mana. Alright, next one is Obsidian Scales. The skill is Reinforce Your Scales, reducing damage taken by 30 seconds. This lasts 12 seconds. It has a 1.5 minute cooldown, and is an instant cast. Expunge. This expunges toxins affecting an ally, removing all poison effects. This has an 8 second cooldown, a 25 yard range, it's an instant cast, and it's 650 mana cost. Natural Convergence. This is a passive. Disintegrate channels 20% faster. Uh, the next passive is Permeating Chill. Your damaging blue spells reduce target's movement speed by 50% for 3 seconds. Verdant Embrace. You fly to an ally and heal them for 6,369. It has a 24 second cooldown, 25 yard range, it's an instant cast and costs 1500 mana. Forger of Mountains, it is another passive. Landslide's cooldown is reduced by 30 seconds and it can withstand 200% more damage before breaking. Innate Magic, this is another passive that essence regenerates 5% faster, that'll increase with the next rank. Obsidian Bulwark. Obsidian Skills has an additional charge. Enkindled. Living Flame does 3% more damage and healing. Two ranks available. Scarlet Adaptation. You store 20% of your effective healing up to 2596. Your next damaging Living Flame consumes all sword healing to increase its damage dealt. Quell. Interrupt an enemy spell casting and preventing any spell from that school of magic from being cast for 4 seconds. This has a 40 second cooldown, is an instant cast, and has 25 yard, yard range. Recall. This is another passive. You may reactivate deep breath within 3 seconds after landing to travel back in time to your takeoff location. Alright, this is one of our choices. You can choose between which one of these you have. If you have either clobbering sweep, which the tail sweeps cooldown is reduced by 45 seconds, or heavy wing beats, where wing buffet's cooldown is reduced by 45 seconds. The next passive is Tailwind. Hover increases your movement speed by 70% for the first 4 seconds. Cauterizing Flame. Cauterize an ally's wounds, removing all bleed, poison, curse, and disease effects. Heals for 6,261 upon removing any effect. It's a 1 minute cooldown, it's a 25 yard range, instant cast, 650 mana. Okay, so now we have to, s this is the uh, first row that you hit on this tree. You have to spend 8 points above in order to hit unlock these. First one is War of Acceleration, is a passive. If you successfully interrupting an enemy with Quell, generates 1 essence. Instinctive Arcana. Your magic damage done is increased by 2%. Tip the scales. Compress time to make your next empowered spell cast instantly at its maximum power level. This is a 2 minute cooldown, is an instant cast. Attuned to the dream, another passive. 2 ranks available. Your healing done and healing received are increased by 2%. Sleepwalk. Disorient an enemy for 20 seconds, causing them to sleepwalk towards you. Damage has a chance to awaken them. This has a 15 second cooldown, a 25 yard range, 
uh, 1.3 second cast timer and cost 1200 mana. Next is Draconic Legacy. This is a passive, your stamina is increased by 2%, there's two banks available. Inherent Resistance, your magic damage taken is reduced by 2%, also has two ranks available. Extended Flight, however it lasts two seconds longer, also has two ranks available. Bountiful Bloom, Emerald Blossom heals two additional allies. Ancient Flame, healing yourself with Living Frame reduces the cost, cast time of your next Living Flame by 40%. Blast Furnace is another passive, Fire Breath damage over time lasts two seconds longer and there's two ranks. Exuberance, while above 75% health, your movement speed is increased by 10%. Source of Magic is redirect your excess magic to a friendly healer for 30 minutes. When you cast an empowered spell, you restore 0.25% of their maximum mana per empower level limit 1. It is an instant cast with a 25 yard range. It is only 1 rank. While being blue, passive, wing buffet and tail swipe knock enemies further and daze them, reducing movement speed by 70% for 4 seconds. Panakia? Pankia? Uh, Emerald Blossom instantly heals you for 5,143 when cast. Unravel. Sunder an enemy's protective magic dealing 9,390 spell frost damage to absorb shields. This has a 9 second cooldown, a 25 yard range, and instant gas and costs 500 mana. This is another passive, protracted cat talons. Azure strike damages one additional enemy. A pressing roar. Let out a bone-shaking roar at enemies in a cone in front of you, increasing the duration of crowd controls that affect them by 50% in the next 10 seconds. This has a 2 minute cooldown and is an instant cast. Regenerative Magic. This is a passive. Source of Magic forms a bond with your ally, causing 15% of their healing to also heal you while you avoid 50% health. Rescue. Swoop to an ally and fly with them to the target location. This is a 1 minute cooldown, an instant cast, and 30 yard range. Lush growth. Green spells restore 5% more health. It has 2 ranks available. Renewing blaze. The flames of life surround you for 8 seconds. While this effect is, act effect is active, 100% of damage you take is healed back over 8 seconds. It has a 1.5 minute cooldown. It is an instant cast. Leaping flames. This is a passive. Fire Breath causes your next Living Flame to strike one additional target per Empower level. Overall, a Pressing Roar removes one Enrage effect from each enemy, and its cooldown is reduced by 20 seconds for each Enrage dispelled. Aerial Mastery Hover gains one additional charge. Twin Guardian Rescue protects you and your ally from harm, absorbing damage equal to 30% of your maximum health for 5 seconds. Okay, this is another one where you have to choose between two options. First option is Foki of Life. While renewing Blaze's initial effect is active, you receive 20% increased healing from all sources. Fire Within, renewing Blaze's cooldown is reduced by 30 seconds. Terror of the Skies, Deep Breath stuns enemies for 3 seconds. Time Spiral, Bend Time, allow you and your allies to cast their major movement ability once in the next 10 seconds even if it is on cooldown. has a 2 minute cooldown and is an instant cast. Sapphire, I probably did not say that right. Conjure an updraft to lift you and your 4 nearest allies within 20 yards into the air, reducing damage taken from air of area of effect attacks by 20% and increasing movement speed by 30% for, for 8 seconds. This has a 2 minute cooldown and is an instant cast. Okay, that's all for the Evoker Tree, so the Devastation Tree. Our first one is Pyre. You up a ball of flame, dealing 1,972 fire damage to the target and nearby enemies. This has a 25 yard range, it's an instant cast, and it costs 3 Essence. Ruby Essence Burst. Your Living Flame has a 20% chance of ca to cause an Essence Burst, making your next Disintegrate or Pyre cost no Essence. This is a passive. Azure Essence Burst. Azure Strike has a 15% chance to cause an Essence Burst, making your next Disintegrate or Pyre cost no Essence. Dense Energy. Pyre's Essence Cost is reduced by 1. Another one where you have to choose between two. Our first one is Imposing Presence. 
quell cooldown is reduced by 20 seconds. Inner Radiance, your Living Flame and Emerald Blossom are 30% more effective on yourself. Eternity Surge, focus your magic, or focus your energies to release a salvo of pure magic, dealing 6,385 spell frost damage to an enemy. Damages additional enemies within 12 yards of the target when empowered. 1 damages 1 enemy, 2 damages 2 enemies, 3 damages 3 enemies. Has a 30 second cooldown, a 25 yard range, and a 2.2 second in power. Okay, the next one is passive, Voltality. Pyre has a 15% chance to flare up and explode again on a nearby target. There's two ranks available. Power Nexus. Increase your maximum essence to 6. The Dragon Rage. Erupt with Draconic Fury and exhale pyres at 3 enemies within 25 yards. For 14 seconds, essence burst's chance to occur is increased to 100%. This is, has a 2 minute cooldown. It's an instant cast. Way Waste is another passive. It has deep breaths. Damage is increased by 10%. There's 2 ranks. Arcane Intensity is a passive. Disintegrate deals 8% more damage and there's 2 ranks. We are now hit the uh, middle, where you have to have spent 7 points above in order to unlock the following. And the first one we have to choose between two. The first one and those two are Ruby Embers. Living Flame deals 399 damage over 12 seconds to enemies, or restores 952 health to allies over 12 seconds. Stacks three times. Engulfing Blaze, Living Flame deals 40% increased damage and healing, but its cast time is increased by 5, 0.5 seconds. Animosity, casting an Empower spell extends the duration of Dragon Rage by 6 seconds. Essence Attunement, Essence Burst stacks 2 times. Firestorm, an explosion bombards the target area with white hot embers, dealing 3,628 fire damage to enemies over 12 seconds. Heat wave, fire breath deals 20% more damage, there is 2 ranks, and that is a passive. Titanic wrath, essence burst deal increases the damage of affected spells by 7.5%, there is 2 ranks available. Home regression. Azure Strike and Living Flame deals 5% more damage, there's two ranks. Eternity Span, Eternity Surge and Shattering Star hit twice as many targets. Okay, another one we'll have to choose between two. First one being Eye of Infinity, Eternity Surge, Critical Strikes generate one essence. Casualty, Essence abilities reduce the remaining cooldown of Eternity Surge by one second. Catalyze. While channeling Disintegrate, your fire, your fire Breath on the target does damage 100% more often. Tyranny, during Deep Breath and Dragon Rage, you gain the maximum benefit of Mastery. Giant Killer, regardless of target's health. Charged Blast, your blue damage increases the damage of your next Pyre by 5%, stacking 20 times. Shattering Star, exhale a bolt of concentrated power from your mouth for 3,004 spell frost damage that cracks the target's defenses, increasing the damage they take from you by 20% for 4 seconds. Snapfire, Living Flame, has a 12% chance to reset to the cooldown of Firestorm and make your next one instant cast and deal 40% increased damage. Font of Magic, your empowered spell's maximum level is increased by 1. Onyx Legacy, Deep Breath cooldown is reduced by 1 minute. Spellweaver's Dominance, your damage and critical strikes deal 220% damage instead of the usual 200%. Another one where you choose between two. First one is Focusing Iris, Shattering Star's damage take an effect lasts 2 seconds longer. Next one is Arcane Vigor, Shattering Star generates 1 essence. Burnout. Fire Breath damage has 8% chance to cause your next Living Flame to be cast to be instant cast, stacking two times. There's two ranks. Imminent Destruction and Power Spells reach maximum level in 10% less time. There's two ranks. Scintillation. Disintegrate has a 15% chance chance each time it deals damage to launch a level 1 Eternity Surge at 30% power. There's two ranks. Power Swell, casting a power spell increases your essence regeneration rate by 100% for 2 seconds. There's 2 ranks. Another one where you choose. 
left one is feed the flames. Consuming the essence burst reduces the remaining cooldown of fire breath by 2 seconds. Ever burning flame, red spells extend the duration of your fire breath's damage over one time over time by one second. Hoarded power. Essence burst has a 20% chance to not be consumed. And iridescence. Casting an empowered spell increases the damage of your next two spells of the same color by 15% within 10 seconds. So this is a overview of the director's talent trees. Just in case anyone is curious of the class, considering buying it, hopefully this will help you determine if you like kind of what you can do with the class. Nonetheless, I appreciate all of you for hanging out, and I hope this was helpful for somebody. Thanks!